All right, let's look at handling primarily where the, the logic should be in the database layer or the application layer. This is a good question, you know, a couple of weeks ago that, that kind of came up, is where should the bulk of our logic be built? And um, anyone that you speak to, you know, if they're an application developer or they're a, you know, a DBA, you're probably going to expect the database individuals to say should be in the database, and you should expect the, the application uh, individuals to say should be on the application side. And a lot of it also varies by how much experience someone has. For instance, a, a junior application developer will probably not know how many, how much applications have changed in the last 10 years because they're a junior versus um, somebody who has been around for a long time will be able to, to say, yeah, I've seen a lot of changes in just 10 years as far as the application side. Like for instance, just using Windows as a case in point, the amount of Windows security patches and problems with this version or that version, which then affects .NET, which then affects um, a lot of applications, uh, there have been a lot of them in the last 10 years, right? So SQL Server's strengths are that it is set-based logic. Uh, SQL Server has amazing reliability. And what I mean by that is if I compare just the average outage time of applications to the amount of outage time SQL Server has, um, SQL Server is much, much more reliable than most applications are. I mean, some of the best application developers that I know who have built great applications, they don't have even close to the reliability that SQL Server has. Even though there are downtimes with SQL Server, it still is nothing compared to most applications. Um, number three, debugging can be drilled into a specific object like a stored procedure view. Depending on how it's written, you can reduce the complexity of what's causing the problem very quickly. Uh, and then, of course, four, many tools to ensure that the database can be recovered. And this goes back to kind of the reliability point. If it's well designed for the application, like let's say uh, an OLAP environment where post load we do the backups, or an OLTP environment where we're doing regular transaction log backups, we can get to a uh, close to a point in time of recovery uh, very effectively and very quickly and refresh, right? Now, this isn't to say that the application isn't better. For instance, application logic is going to be much better on an object-oriented basis. SQL Server is not good at object-oriented uh, code, right? But if you are going to do something in a set, set-based logic especially, um, I mean, I have stored procedures from, what, eight or nine years ago that can still run. It's not to say that I wouldn't improve them, but they can still run very effectively if I pass them a set because they're designed to handle sets, right? Um, and that's a huge difference, um, or in my opinion, one of the big difference between SQL Server and a lot of the application logic is that the database logic in general doesn't have to change as frequently as the application logic because the if you design it right, if you're designing it for sets, then you can fine tune it if you want it to perform better, but you're not going to need to go through and rebuild a lot of the pieces. Okay. Uh, application code in general changes more frequently than database code from my experience. It seems that we have newer and newer libraries all the time and developers want to, hey, let's roll out this library because now we can do this. That's great, but look at what you just did though, right? Um, as a case in point, verifying, let's say, a set of data and inserting it into a table, you don't have you just don't have database developers that come to you all the time and let's completely change how we wrote this stored procedure. There's only a handful of ways you can do that anyway. They're going to probably quickly figure out the most effective way to do that and then leave it there, right? And then, of course, I, I note here that developers in general can sometimes miss the importance of reliability. Um, I have been uh, both an ETL developer and a DBA, and I'm primarily a DBA. Um, but I understand this, the, one of the strengths of developers is that they are focused on new features and they are focused on adding um, a lot of benefits to applications. Sometimes they miss the importance, though, of those changes being reliable. And so if those changes aren't reliable, then it can bring down the entire system. So the great thing about DBAs is they're the very opposite, right? What do you think a DBA is mostly concerned with is reliability. It's always online. It never goes down. Performance and features are not at the top of where the DBA is coming from, okay? So this isn't to say that neither serves a purpose, but that balances your purpose in the same way that 
you know, what is it? That's a hypothetical example, or not a hypothetical, but a related example is the balance of powers that the U.S. set up so that one authority doesn't have too much power because if that occurs, you can generally have problems. It's the same thing with one group of people having too much. There's a, there's a misbalance there. So when it comes to application versus database logic and where should it all occur, my viewpoint with a lot of the business logic is, first of all, are we dealing with sets or objects? Um, number two, when we want, when we're dealing with that logic, what happens if there's downtime with that logic? How, what is it going to be like with debugging? I think it's Jeff Atwood that says, you know, you're going to spend two thirds of your time debugging. So think about it from that angle. Um, and then of course, what happens when everything crashes, right? Where do we want to be able to, to turn things on as quickly as possible and get it back running again? And the more reliability that you want in your system, the more I would recommend more of it being on the database side for that reason. Um, you get a good DBA and you can get things online very quickly. Uh, but if, you, if you're not that concerned about those issues, and it is object-based, and um, frequent changes, it's kind of like it happens, it happens, then uh, yeah, you're probably going to be moving more of your pieces to the application side.